Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Alfonso Moretti, AKA The Angry Trainer from, of course, angrytrainerfitness.com. And I have another real-time workout to do with you today. Basically, that's where you and I are gonna work out together. You simply watch the video and work out along with me. This workout I call back to basics, and it's really simple. You know, life gets in the way sometimes. Maybe it's New Year's, maybe you've had a weekend binge, maybe you went on vacation, or maybe just your job has been crazy lately. You've been away from the gym, away from exercise for a while. You want a quick jump start to get back into it. So I've put a little circuit together of eight exercises. We're gonna go through it, it's gonna train the whole body. It's a great way to get back into your routine, and all you have to do is just do it right along with me. All right, so here's what we're gonna start with. A medicine ball, if you don't have a medicine ball, you can use a dumbbell. Basically, we're gonna start with a hip drive, You've got three options here, 10 reps, 15 reps, 20 reps. Obviously, 10 is for beginner, 15 is intermediate, 20 if you're advanced. Heck, go to 40 if you can do it. It's totally up to you. We're going to start with 10 to show everybody how you're going to do this. I have an eight-pound medicine ball. So we're going to go 10 reps of medicine ball hip drives. So you're going to come down and straight up overhead. So deep breath. Breathe out, right? Deep breath. Breathe out. Squat. Kick the hips forward. Breathe down, excellent. This is seven, come down, squeeze the glutes, eight. Big thing people forget to do, squeeze those glutes at the top. Last one, down, straight up, there you go, 10. Okay, next exercise. You guys all know I'm a big fan of one-legged exercises, so we're gonna do a one-legged deadlift. This is great for the low back, the glutes, the side of the glutes. It's just overall a great exercise. All you're gonna do is just stand on one foot. As you can see, I have my Vibram five fingers on. I love these. Stand on one foot. Pick one foot up off the ground. Actually, let me put this one up so you can see what I'm doing here. Nice and slow, lean over to the ground. Go as far as you can go. You're gonna come up, stand up straight, squeeze, emphasize good posture at the top. Lean back over again, two. Now you're gonna notice my foot position here. This is easier because this gives you a little bit of balance. So if you need to bring your leg back, bring your leg back. But if you have good balance, the farther forward you keep it, the more challenging it's gonna be and the more it's gonna stretch that standing leg, that glute. Even like I'm a little wobbly here. This is five. Come on up, shoulder blade back, squeeze. It's okay if you have to put down your foot every now and then, seven. Balance exercises are the exercises, they're always tough. Doesn't matter how long you do them for, how often you train it, you're never gonna be perfect with balance exercises. We have one more, makes 10. Lean over, good stretch, deep breath. There you go, that's exercise number two. Exercise number three is gonna be uh, for abs. As you guys all know, your abs is one muscle, so we're gonna go down on the ground, okay? And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna make uh, circles with our feet. So it's kind of a variation on basically a leg raise. So what you're gonna do is put your hands here. I don't want you pushing against the floor. Your hands are gonna come here, bring your feet up, and you're just gonna draw circles. So that's one. The bigger you make the circle, the more abs you're gonna get. So if you go down to the floor, you're gonna see it's gonna be much tougher. You're gonna come around and breathe out. Some people also experience low back pain when doing this. Bring the whole thing back farther keep the circle tighter and more over your head, that will alleviate back pain. But if you can do it, the bigger the circle, the more abdominal engagement you're gonna get. This is eight. I'm gonna come around, breathe out as your knees come back. Flex the stomach. One more, breathe out. Excellent, that's 10 of those. Okay, next exercise, squat thrusts. You probably remember these back in the days of uh, school. I don't think kids are very cool anymore, but this is a great full body exercise. Basically, you start in the standing position. Okay, we're gonna do 10 of these. You're gonna go down here, kick your feet back. You wanna land in a tight plank position. So what I don't want you to do is jump back and come into a saggy back. Control this, jump forward, and stand. That's one. Down, rigid, two, down back three make sure you stand up straight squeeze the glutes shoulders come back down four five breathe out jump six four to go this looks super easy 
super hard. Engages the entire body. The more muscles you use, the higher the requirement for oxygen, the more muscles have to be fueled, the higher your heart rate's gonna go. This is nine, jump and up. One more, back and stand. Excellent. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a break. You have 60 seconds. I'm gonna grab a little swig of water. Whew, you should too. Concentrate on your breathing here. You can actually help to recover. Take deep breaths in. Obviously I'm breathing through my mouth, but you'd like to, it's called smell the flowers, blow out the candles. What that does is it delivers oxygen more efficiently to the working muscles, brings the good stuff in, in a nice steady stream and blows the bad stuff out in one quick blowout. So that's what you want to do. So I also want to take this time while we have the break, remind you all, make sure you're following me on Facebook and on Twitter at Angry Trainer Fit. I got to give big props to Fit Studio and Sears Fitness for supplying us with all this equipment here to produce these videos for you guys. I love doing this. Please leave me some comments. I need to hear what all of you want to see and what you think of the site. I love hearing what you guys have to say. All right, so next exercise. You're gonna grab your dumbbell. We are going to do a dumbbell squat and press. So basically, you're gonna put the dumbbell in one hand. You're gonna get into squat position. Keep the dumbbell here. We're gonna do 10 reps. So you're gonna squat down. So, straight up. Notice I finish the squat position. I don't keep my butt behind me. Squeeze your glutes, finish with a neutral pelvis. Come back down. Deep breath. Sit back on those heels and up. Five to go. Five, four, three, two left. Two, one more. Excellent, and remember, if you're intermediate, you go to 15. If you're advanced, you can go to 20. Next exercise, barbell row. So we're gonna do a bent over row, which I conveniently have here leaning up against the wall. If you don't have a barbell, if you have two dumbbells, you can do a dumbbell row. If you have a resistance band, you can do resistance band rows. The key to rows is that when you start, you have to get your shoulders back, bend your knees, lean over with a flat back. What you don't wanna do is this. This is what everybody in the gym does. Really bad for your back. So before you even lean over, here, pitch yourself over, flat back. Now your hands are hooked, loose grip. Pull with your elbows. Think about your hands are hooks and you're just pulling right up into the rib cage. Breathe out on the way out. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Protect your lower back. That's five. Deep breath. Seven. If you have a band, you can hook this to your door. Hook it around a post. If you have dumbbells, you can have one in each hand. This is nine. And one more. There you go. Those are our dumbbell and barbell rows for back. Remember, do it the right way or don't do it at all. Next exercise, push-ups with an alternating knee forward. Of course, we all know push-ups are great for the chest, shoulders, triceps, but frankly, they're a little boring and I like to get the most done. If I'm gonna be down on the floor, I'd rather do more than one exercise at a time. So basically, we're gonna pull a knee forward. We're gonna get a little bit of abdominal engagement here. So you can start. <clears throat> Good position here. Deep breath on the way down. As you come up, pull the knee forward. Down. 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 Get that knee as far forward as you can get it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Down, 10. Now I know I've told you uh, 15. I would do 16 obviously, because you want to do, I'm a little neurotic. I like to have even numbers on both sides. 
And our final exercise, we're gonna go back to the medicine ball and we're gonna do chops. Chops are great exercise for the core, low back, glutes, legs, and I'm already huffing and puffing as you can see, but now it's gonna be even more cardiovascular. So we're gonna take the ball, we're gonna go 10 chops to the left. One, pivot your feet. When you pivot your feet, your knees and your hips will follow. If you keep your feet planted on the ground, you're not gonna be able to turn your hips. Four, the harder you swing this, the harder it gets because you need to resist the force. Seven, eight, two to go. Nine, one more, 10. There you have it. That's the back to basics workout. Whew, that's the first circuit. You can go through this two times, three times, four times. You could even do a, a pyramid where if you're somebody who's at the advanced level, start with 20 reps of each, drop down to 15, finish with 10, pyramid up. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. So go through it, try it out. Use this workout for like the first month. Get back into the groove of things. Then come back right here to the Angry Trainer YouTube channel and check out some of my other videos. And that's how you can progress in your workout plan. There's no reason why you should hate working out. Try my, big, my back to basics workout. Till next time, be well.